only in Thailand. So we're actually going to Pattaya, which is going to be even more interesting. I still can't believe that we had McDonald's so delivered jealous. by Grab to an airport. We're right, it is a small plane. Oh my god, and it's a propeller plane as well. Oh, that was the uh, the strangest landing ever. And welcome to Pattaya. Good morning from an incredibly quiet Koh Phang Yang ferry port. It is the day of the full moon party and I think everyone's asleep. Everyone's getting ready, getting prepared for their big night. But I feel like we're going to be the only ones on this ferry. We are leaving... <laughs> On the day of the full moon party, it doesn't make too much sense, but we needed to get off the island, make our flight, and we're actually flying into a active military base, which is very, very strange. We're actually going to Pattaya, which is going to be even more interesting than the military base, I believe, but you need to give everywhere a chance, and we've heard it is very small planes. We're praying our ferry is going. We haven't actually gone in and checked. We've got the one for eight in the morning. The weather's been crazy. We're leaving on the day of the full moon party. What is going on? I'm praying that this ferry is going. Oh, uh, I don't know. Like there was like an 8 a.m. and 11 and I think there was even a 10.30. Um, but at the minute you just can't risk it. It's our fault for coming in rainy season, but Imagine if we got stuck on Koh Panyang, then we would have had to have done the full moon party. Oh, what, what a shame. What a shame. Do we have to do it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Is it on time at the moment? It is. It is. Thank you. Good. Thank you. First hurdle executed. It is supposedly on time. On time. I've I'm, heard that before though. I know, I'm hoping. There's literally no names on the ferry list because <laughs> obviously no one is leaving Koh Panyang on the day of oh, the full moon. moon party. I'm kind of more excited for this plane. A plane into a military base on a plane that can be extremely small to go to like the craziest, most unique place in Thailand. A bit I, sketchy. I, I don't know whether like staying at the full moon party would be better for us or <laughs> heading into Pattaya would be better for us. And now we have to go off-road oh, to get the boat. Oh, what is going on? I've got my sticker, so we don't get lost. The boat's 15 minutes late. We're going to post it. And we have made it, thank you. Oh, I've got my sticker. I didn't actually realise that we, uh, we've <laughs> also paid much. for the transfer to the airport. You didn't tell me we got transferred to the airport. Fancy. Molly's spending all the money, but that was a uh, transfer 150 each, ferry 350 each. And as you can see, it was pretty empty and we had a very small one because like I said, no one's leaving on the day of the full moon party, apart from families and, and us. us. Well, this is very efficient. Hello, to the airport? Hello. Thank you. We have made it to Samui Airport, but we are very, very early. Our flight is in like six hours time, and it is a small little airport. You have to check in over there, and then supposedly in a completely other building, so obviously we can't check in. There's like a food court and everything, so we're walking along now. Um, I don't know. This is why you get the early ferry, I suppose, because if it was delayed, we wouldn't have made it. But now we have like six hours at the world's smallest airport. I was wrong, this is so cool. It's kind of like a, it reminds me of like a resort town, you know? It's got all these like lovely shops, but uh, cafes, restaurants that are like fancy, it's got smoothie though, bowls. I don't get it. Outside, I don't really know. Are we I in think, the airport complex? I think complex? you drop your bag or you can drop your bag, then you come here and then you can go through security later. I don't so, know, I'm confused. Yeah, it's, it's very, very, nice, though. very nice, but very small. I think I can take off my airport sticker now. We've come into the Coco Caf on this little promenade of the airport. It's the, it's the strangest thing ever. You would not think that you're at an airport. And I've got a caramel frappuccino, macchiato, whatever it is, but it's very expensive, about five, about five pounds, need 200 baht for a coffee. So the plan is I'm gonna try and go to town and get some food for lunch because the price of a cross a cross on is five pounds here. I'm just not paying that. But um mm, we have five hours until we go to the El Taipo airport. It's very cool. It was actually used by the Americans back in like the 60s and then obviously now the Thai military and it's also functioning as a domestic and I'm not sure whether an international airport. So that's gonna be quite strange flying in landing right next to like military aircraft. But um it's good. Not worth a fiver. Thank you. Happen car. 
That is amazing. I never thought I would be able to do that. Get a McDonald's delivered to an international airport. I literally just threw it in on grab. The guy drove in, past security, and dropped me the goods. I love it. Only in Thailand. Success never tasted so good. Thank you, Thanks Captain Car. We are through. I am full for my McDs, and I still can't believe that we had McDonald's so delivered jealous. by Grab to an airport. Um, but this is our gate an open aired bamboo thatched type hut with no aircon, only fans. Um, this really is island life. Probably the cutest airport gate ever, but I am sweating. Hello. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. The coolest transport to get on our plane. Look how cute that is. We're right. It is a small plane. Oh my god, and it's a propeller plane as well. A um, plane to a military base. Yeah, that's a bit freaky, isn't it? Thank you. was the, uh, the strangest landing ever. Um, as it's a military base, you can't film anything. Getting off the plane, landing. I've never had that before, that you can't film out the window of a plane. Um, it was actually a really good flight. Bangkok Airways, I think, are the only airline that fly out of Koh Samui. They're a little bit expensive, but you get a nice meal. Um, and we've made it to a military base. Pattaya and military base, they really don't go together. We now got to get a transfer or something into town and relax, that was a, that was an odd one. Thank you. And welcome to Pattaya. I can't believe we're saying that. Didn't think we would say it. Uh, we didn't get off to the best start. When you come out of the airport, we queued up and waited to get a minivan or a local bus or a taxi. And unfortunately, there's only one company and they offer private taxis, not shared, for 1,000 baht. There's no other option. So you couldn't order a Grab or a Bolt, which was kind of surprising to us. So uh, we actually found someone to share a taxi with, which brought the cost down to 600 baht. It's a, li it's a little bit scammy, but. A little bit scammy, but it was quite a long way it was about 45 minutes from the airport and we have just checked into our hotel we're staying at the Blackwoods um, in Pattaya and the beach I can see it in the very far distance you won't be able to see it and I have a very big balcony I can already hear the music I you know can you're hear in music, Pattaya I can hear sounds you know you're here but let's give you a room tour when you come in oh that's nice and cool now we have huge double bed it's very modern very sleek TV snack bar I love that like, I don't know what these are these are pretty fancy um sink big odd oh, i love this when they have a bath and a shower when they have two shower heads like you have the waterfall one and the handheld one and the see-through bit so you can spy on me <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be turning out of a toilet um and the room is lovely very modern i'm very pleased to be in pattaya we always want to experience all parts of a country and that is basically why we have come to pattaya we want to show that pattaya is more than just the nightlife, even though we'll probably get involved with some of the nightlife. We've just come up to the rooftop of our hotel. We've got a lovely pool, some nice bean bags, and I think we're gonna have a light dinner this evening. Pattaya is completely different to what I expected. I didn't realize it was gonna be this built up. I know it is an actual city. It feels weird after being on islands, but the size of these buildings, and it's vast the whole way down this huge beach. You can literally just see the beach in front of me, and they've got these like, it looks like they're like floating restaurants or something in, the distance and we might even get a sunset fingers crossed and islands i didn't know pattaya had islands in front of them so that's going to be a plan go and check out the islands of pattaya Kapunka. cheers it'd be cheers. rude not to have a cocktail in pattaya oh my god i was not expecting pattaya to have sunsets like this we've been blessed with a beautiful sunset sunset this over them island i'm I'm so intrigued by these islands we Matt to like to really them. wants to find out the name of these islands so we can go to them but i have a pina colada mm. And I love this like moon shaped pineapple. We've got some snacks on the way. Um, sitting and watching sunset on the little bean bags. How cool is that? I would not have expected this in Pattaya. Beautiful sunset. Some of the best we've probably had, one of the best we have had 
in Thailand so far over islands in the distance. Rooftop cocktails. We've got some Thai snacks. Oh, we've got a lot of snacks. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this after the McDonald's and the craziest travel day ever, flying into into a military base. Yeah, that was that was strange. Okay. Definitely uh, an experience one to for the tick off. Yeah, one, one, for, the one for the books. We flew into an active military base on like this. I think that's the smallest plane we've ever flown on. And the first time we've ever been told we're not allowed to film as well. Yeah, landing, flying into an airport, being told you cannot mm. film up to the window is very, very strange. But I'm going to enjoy these. Probably the only one tonight. We need to be prepared mentally for nightlife <laughs> in Pattaya. Eat our snacks, watch the rest of this beautiful sunset, and we'll see you in the next one.